All right, so we want to check what the subcooling is supposed to be. So this is install setup. Um, so if we go down to refrigerant charging here, and then charging cooling. So this should have been all input already by the install. So our vapor lines, you know, so forth. Then, um, so this is what you're supposed to have weighed in at the very beginning. And the service valve subcool, touch that, and it says your subcool is supposed to be 8.5. That's what your target is. Okay? And then you can start it, and it runs. Right? With some more. So, indoor temp is thermostat, outdoor temp is there's a sensor out there, outdoor coil temp is another sensor out there, the suction pressure, there's a transducer, DC voltage, you can check that, um, this particular one is spot on. Um, so I ran uh, just, just on checkout, I just ran it, and it took almost 25 minutes for it to stabilize. It was really weird. Right at first it dropped like 50 PSI on the low side, and then it came back. So it's run for 10 minutes, and our target's still 8.5. It is running more. You'll see here it's running um, about 100 CFM more than it does in checkout mode. So up here on my gauges at that CFM, we're actually getting that many BTUs, and our subcooling is right there. So we still have another 15 minutes to go. Ninety-nine, one hundred. It's off. It's off a little bit. Another thing I'll point out: your uh, dry bulb is 65, ideally it should be about 70 or above, and the wet bulb, this gauge actually is saying that it's too cold, so it's not giving me a delta T, so it says um, the weather is not ideal. Well, it's been 15 minutes, nothing's changed. So, the uh, subcool, well it was just 6.5 a second ago, and that number is about the same, that number is the same, pressures are staying about the same. So it wants you to wait another almost nine minutes. So you should wait. I turned off my camera and look what happened. 6.6. .6.